Uh, how, howdy, howdy, everyone. I'm I'm Fantic. Of course, y'all should y'all should probably know that if you're watching my channel. We're gonna be playing a game called The Call of Karen. It's like this this wife who is supposed to act like everything's fine. Yeah, of course it's better enjoyed with sound. Oh, uh, but but there's a lot of paranormal shit going on. The game's also very loud for me, so. Let's let's get into this. Let's Oh. Listeners and patriots and lovers watch out. There is a new kind of evil about both family men and no mates on their own. Don't let the octopus into your home. That's our message from our lovely sponsor, Hurston Enterprises. Before you get any oh ideas God. about sea life on the run, the octopus represents those bastard copies up north. It's a metaphor, you see. I tell ya, I love being up at 6 a.m. on a Monday. The sun rising over the city reminds me of all the life oh, down there. Oh, whoops. Oh, that's what's happening. Americans Sorry, game's kind of laggy for me. Their hearts. What if- can I fix this? We've got a special guest I'm interviewing today, Joanne. Hello, Charles. I'm excited to be here. Now, what's a good Christian woman like you doing out of the kitchen and on America's airwaves? I wonder that myself sometimes, Charles. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna hope that's fine. Kinda, okay. Pencils. Where the fuck is our pop and stuff? Why do we have so much salt and pepper? Oh, it's still very bad. Hold on. Should be okay. Which burner is this? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I'm gonna leave that egg on the floor. Give. Now I'm fucking zooming. No! Dude. Nothing happened, of course. No, I want you to go over. There we go. Okay. On the plate. Okay. I'll be fine. I can do this. Okay. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll just cook that. Give me some fork. No, don't go back in. I want a fork. Get. I said I want a fork. Why? Hello? Francis, I made your favorite meatloaf sandwich Mom, with- I can't talk. I gotta go now. I'm gonna miss the bus. Oh. oh okay. Uh. Well, I love you. Are you tired of feeling taken for granted? Yes. You know it, Charles. Of course you are. We know all you family men work hard all day just to provide for the kiddos of the old ball and chain. And when do they ever say thank you? I know. Mm. Honey, I'll be out late again. Have dinner ready when I get back. Yeah, sure thing, John. Yes, this truly is the American dream. Happy home, happy life, and happy wife. And what could be happy? We'll be back with more tales from all around the greatest country on earth after these messages. Oh. Uh. Oh. Huh? It might be time to lay off the morning wine. Yeah, maybe. Ugh. Even when something's a little different around here, there's always a mess to clean up. Yeah. Oh. Or is there another book? That's a card. I get- does this go on the shelf as well? Oh! That wasn't like that a second ago. Get- Damn, I'm trying, dude. Oh, there's the last book. Okay. I was hoping that'd just work, and it, it, it didn't, so... Bro. There we go. Get, get in. There we go. How did that paper get back on the fucking floor?
Alright, where is this? Dinner, okay. Why am I so fast all of a sudden? That's fine. Sure. chosen one. We're gonna ignore that. I'm giving that one to Francis. Shit. Put on the table. No one's gotta know. Oh yeah, baby. Alright, maybe we maybe maybe I should put the, the meatloaf in the oven. fine. You don't gotta know. Alright, I will get that in a second. Do we have skizzers? Cool, new rug.
How do I slice it? Oh wait, hold on. The big butcher knife. Oh, it's back, hello. Sure. When Francis isn't sorting his trading cards and John isn't working on his novel, huh. dinner can't come fast enough. But when they're busy, they can't be bothered. Ugh, might as well listen to the radio while I wait. And what a wonderful day it was! Hello, and if Charles. we have our way, we'll be living like this forever. Don't yeah, forget, I anyone wish. who wants different is a threat to our country. Be sure to report any strange happenings to... <sighs> okay. Where'd that go? There it goes. I don't know. On the burner. Alright, this time I gotta be a bit more. What? If I have to politely remind John to stop stacking food against the fridge door again, I'll scream. Or I would. If he didn't always leave the room when I show womanly emotions. Uh, Floor bacon for me. Oh, what a feeling. Good morning, America. Hello. We're back at it again on this bright and sunny morning. And aren't we glad that it's bright and sunny, considering that freak storm over the Atlantic last night? That certainly oh? didn't give me any ideas about the fragility of our human lives. In other news, does the amount of salt you put on your meatloaf say something about how good of a wife you are? Tune in after the break to find out. I want this. Give me this. Give. What do I need? Bacon? Shh, I'm making shit. There's a piece. Okay. You know what? This family doesn't fucking respect me, so I'm not gonna make their food right. I'm gonna make- I'm gonna- What if I just make this place more of a mess? What would they do to me? Huh? Fuck it. I hear you over there! I'm ignoring you. Oh. Don't forget your Next lunch. Time, can you make lunch like Timmy's mom does? She gives him cookies. And don't you forget the meatloaf tonight, honey. I. <sighs> I never do. Uh, ignoring the kitchen. I don't. Today's broadcast brought to you by Houston Enterprises' new vacuum cleaner with brand new technology that keeps your house cleaner longer. But not too long, or you ladies back home would have nothing to do. We've got a testimonial today from one of our happy customers. Say hello to America, Susan Jones. Hi, Charles. Susan it's a Jones? Pleasure to be here. Timmy's mom, PTA president, makes snide comments about my brownies. Now, Susan, you're a mother, PTA president, and baker extraordinaire. Oh, 
I don't know if I'd say extraordinaire. I just know what I'm doing. When some others <laughs> struggle a bit more. Sure, Susan. Well, Karen's obviously uh, showing a bit of a bit of hatred. Yeah. All right. That's definitely not normal. Give. Fuck if it's normal. Fuck this. Oh. Any second now, Charles from PMCR Radio is going to knock on the door and tell me this is all a weird prank show segment. And Susan will be there too. She'll marvel at how I haven't cleaned up before letting in company. Your plates were floating. Mine had booked a plate ticket to Kingsport. I had to walk the whole way there to catch them, and I still made it back in time to make dinner. Wow, Karen, she's actually, like, going off. Kind of funny. You know what, at least the knife landed on the table. The thing doing this is having fun listening to Karen because, like, honestly, it's kind of amusing. She really does just want to provide for her family. Now, where did everything else? There's a fork. Okay. You're shitting me. I didn't put it on? The game's laggy for me. It's probably laggy on video too. You know what? Video is probably what's making it laggy. In a minute. In a minute. Ugh. Well, that's it for me tonight, folks. Keep an eye out for anything strange. And don't forget... What was that? <sighs> okay. Well, I prefer floating bacon to floating bacon, though I can't say I'm a huge fan of you. Another day in American paradise, the greatest country on earth. Don't forget, everything's completely fine. Today's program is brought to you by... And that's not all. If you buy now, you'll get a free pair of binoculars to spy on your neighbors. Hmm. Now literally, where is the bacon? <laughs> oh 
There's one, all right. Here's the other. There, I know there's more bacon! Did it float into another room? I'm... Okay, I thought that it had a had a heartbeat and that's what worried me. Um seems to not want to want to function right now so we're just gonna have it rest there everything can can spin and, and have a gay old time literally this plate, set it down right here so I can get a fork. Bye Francis! Hope you have a good day at school. Have a good day at work, dear. Oh my god. Kirsten vacuum, he said. It will have your carpet sparkling like new! Yeah, yeah, give me a ring when it does the same thing for my ceiling. Uh, okay, on the wall, that's... is here. Please take me away to a world of country melodrama where I don't have to worry about how my house might be possessed. What? Better safe than sorry. If only I hadn't sold the pistol when we had Francis. Alright, I, I hope this solves my fucking issue. Oh, okay. Those silver bullets can't get here fast enough. Hey, whatever entity is doing this, please stop. I don't need any more cleaning to do. Honestly. Okay, okay, I can take a hint. Still doesn't mean you gotta be so rude. Oh my god! Okay. Please. Okay, there's a... Oh, oh, okay. Give me meat. I'll go plop this in the oven.
Okay. Cup. Ooh. Oh, there's a fork. Okay, I have low. There's two over here. My lucky fucking day. Ugh. You're actually shitting me. What if... You're- you're shitting me. Dinner's ready! My god. In a minute! In a minute! Mm. I should start cooking for the entity in the house. Maybe it will appreciate my cooking. Honestly, yeah! Was that a yes? I can't tell if that's a yes or a no. I'm going to say no. Good evening, listeners! Gee, did that day fly by with no strange happenings at all! For you night owls out there, here's the evening news! That storm out by the Atlantic seems to have cleared up! The Navy is setting out to investigate, to make sure it isn't something... else. Meanwhile, some odd fellow in Johansson County swears there's a new mountain on the horizon by his house! <laughs> oh, the things some folks will do for attention, am I right? If you live near that man, you'd best keep an eye on him for other unusual behavior. Yep. Thank you, Charles. Good morning, everyone. Every day is a clean slate, a brand new start. Mm. Breakfast, as you all know, is the most important meal of the day. Except, of course, for the most important meal of the universe, where the old ones descend upon humanity and eat the sun. Broadcast is telling me that isn't a standard meal in most American households. My mistake. Thank you, Charles. Huh. This is just the normal now. I'm just- I'm used to it. Hey, no. The fuck? Oh, an egg's in the sink. Whatever, that can stay there. How long is this game, bro? How long I've been playing. <laughs> Hold on. All right, let's get let's get back to this. New fork. Okay.
Francis, are you there? Yeah, Timmy's dad is driving me to school. Oh, I can drive you. Timmy's mom says that women shouldn't drive. Bruh. Bye, honey. All right, bitch. Strange. Mm -hmm. My silver bullet shouldn't arrive until tomorrow. Oh boy. From Susan? What did she have to say this time? I saw your lawn was looking more drab than usual, and I thought, there's a gal who has elder demons in her home. Here's a book that might help. Wow, isn't that just so thoughtful of her? Well... What happened? Oh shit, I dropped it. My bad. Hope I got work to do. This house ain't gonna clean itself. Disgusting. Bro, let me hop over the table. Okay, that's actually useful. Oh, I have to write her a nice thank you letter now, don't I? Yeah. It means so much to me that you reached out, especially with your extraordinarily busy schedule. I'll be sure to send over some fresh brownies when I get the chance. I'll make them extra overcooked just for you. Announcement from your local neighborhood watch. Over at your neighbors for dinner, keep an eye out for strange happenings. A dysfunctional dinner is the first sign of an unhappy home and a potential threat to your oh, community. Guys, I don't need you calling me out, too. Bro, I might fight Charles. Is that okay? God, why can't my husband and son just be fucking normal? And why do I set the table for four people? That's probably why the fucking thing is here. Because <laughs> I invited it. I left the spot open at my dinner table.
you, okay. I'll get that in a second. Are you fucking kidding me? No, 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 get back here. Get, get in the oven. In the... You're- I don't- Okay. Bro, in the oven. Get, get in, in the oven. Drop it on the- oh, I didn't even fucking read that. My bad. Whoops. Y'all- y'all should know I'm fucking blind. Alright, dope. Shit. Anyway. Hey look, now I can finally cook it! My fucking god. Where are the knives? Gotcha. Dinner's ready. There we go. I'm working on my novel. I'm sorting my trading card. Okay. Are you an unhappy housewife in your house life? Maybe so, Charles. Maybe so. Then stay tuned. We've got ten appliances that will make you the perfect house spouse. And they're so easy, we're sure even you ladies will be able to figure no. it out. And ten more reasons for Susan to brag about how rich she is at the next PTA meeting. Appliance one. A safe lined with iron to keep the manuscripts describing all the horrors you've seen. Oh. Uh. And five down is control for Tardum those are the answers to yesterday's crossword. Hope you had fun playing along with us. Strange words this time. What is that, Lithuanian? Darn, I thought it was Cthulhu Patagon Arlier. So close. 
so, so fucking close. Well, time to start this shit ag again. This is not going to be an easy day, is it? That's the only real weird shit that I can't ever get a fucking fork. Be sure to be safe out there, Francis. There's been strange news lately. I'll be fine, Mom. Timmy's dad is picking me up from school, and Timmy's mom is gonna make me brownies after. Okay. Honey, have you noticed anything odd lately? Come to think of it, your meatloaf was a little dry yesterday. It's alright. I'll pick up pizza tonight. Bruh! Oh, perfect, my bullets are here. Now, I might not have a gun, and most sources say you need a gun to use bullets, but most sources aren't losing their mind trying to be a good wife and mother while demons are in their house. So I'll be taking some liberties. Now this is what I'm talking about. I don't know when I'll need it, but better safe than sorry. Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by the stars are right. Your number one guide to the stars being right. Also providing services like seeing if the stars are right and making sure that the old ones descend upon the world. Broadcast, what do you mean they're not a sponsor? The stars are right. The stars are right. It's right here. The stars are right. The stars are right. The stars are right. No, no, it's fine. I told you, I'm just going to share the joyous news that the, the old ones are returning, returning and they're charging their boat to the second city of Yeah, and the calamari is on sale at Gigamart today, 50% off. Oh, we're on air now? Hello, everyone. Hi, calamari is on sale at Gigamart today. Oh, Add a nice. bit of extra kick to your morning smoothie with some tasty sea life. Delicious. Yeah, that... Actually, that doesn't sound delicious at all. Well, anyhow, it's a Saturday. Time to kick back and relax after a long, hard week of work providing for your families. And hey, maybe your wives can take a break, too. Oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to... Whatever, that's there now. 
Whoops. I'm so used to just mean dinner. I added two bacon sh- I cooked bacon? What? I- when the fuck did I do that? Okay. That explains why the shit on the table wasn't going haywire. Bro, I'm about to just turn all these settings down. <laughs> Why is it so fucking dark now? What? Oh, why is it so dark? Oh, that's why. Okay. Where'd my fucking plate with eggs or with bacon go? Okay, guess I'm gonna... Can we do it? No, oh, I meant to grab that. just get this this morning over with bro bro this is unfucking fair come here Where did it go? Okay. It's just like a random plate. Uh huh. Bro, I know I saw it. Hello. Oh, I do need the other egg.
pockets. It's not that hard to put an egg on a plate. Ah! Uh. Okay. Well. I don't- I don't think I can take a fork to it. I don't know where the fucking plate went. I'm gonna play poker with the guys. I'll be back late. Okay. Timmy found a weird bat lizard by the creek. We're gonna go poke it with a stick. Alright, be safe! Hey, don't- <sighs> Susan should pay more attention to her kid. Honestly. It looks like these bullets are going to come in handy after all. I'm sick of this other nonsense. You don't think the Soviets have anything to do with this, do you? It doesn't really matter, I suppose. We'll all be vaporized to dust one way or the other. Do you believe that we will rejoin the stars? I thought you were interviewing me about my ceramic business. Indeed I was! You'll never believe it, folks! This man makes deep-sea dining sets! Get a flake shape like an octopus for only $19.99! Yes, I... Perfect for all occasions! Like serving that 50% off calamari, or celebrating the return of... <laughs> the, the octopus bat human lord of the deep sea! I suppose... There we go. I just wasn't aiming high enough. Ah, what a day it's been, America! Rest easy with the knowledge that tomorrow... Oh! I don't- I don't okay. think I like that. This has gone on long enough. Yeah, I'm talking to you. I'm sick of all this. It's hard enough to do all the work around here, and I don't need you making it worse for me. I've spent my whole life cleaning up other people's messes, and I'm not dealing with yours, too. I'm ending this, once and for all. got teeth now. Hey, you big ugly slob! Catch! Yo? Did I just defeat Cthulhu? Yo! A beautiful day in American paradise. A lovely country with a lovely radio station host that may have just been uh. put on sick leave for a month because of erratic behavior. Strangely, I feel much better. But I'm not going to turn down a free vacation. In any case, sayonara, America! I'll see you again once I'm done sipping pina coladas in Bermuda. Well, that takes care of that. Oh. Alright, uh... Well, that's new. Honey, it's... I'm off to work. Uh oh, and when I get home, I want to talk to you. Frankly, the house has been a mess this week. Susan's mentioned that she's seen all sorts of things through the windows, and you're not really making this a structured environment for Francis. <sighs> we both know that you need to clean more, 
but I want to find a solution that works for you. Happy wife, happy life, right? Is that so? Oh, hello. Oh my god. Song's kind of a bop, though. I think I'm just gonna sit here for a while listening to this. Thanks for watching.